hello and welcome back to Farmer's Fire Farm Set. I'm Stacey and today we are going to make homemade bagels. Now I've looked for the recipe online and I chose, so I'm going to look at um, the Kiwi Country Girl, um, Laura, from that. Uh, she actually just lives just up the road from me and um, I'm going to try her recipe and then we're going to use the seasoning um, everything but the bagel seasoning to top them. So I'm going to use my Thermomix today uh, for the mixing. You can use your stand mixer, you can hand knead it, whatever you've got you you, you use. And um, I will link this down in the description below as well. So I shall get my rolling mat out, put this in, turn it on. So the recipe calls for uh, um, Active dry yeast, some sugar, warm water, flour, and salt. So, not a lot of ingredients, so that's awesome. So, the first thing we're going to do is get um, add the yeast, sugar, and half a cup of the warm water whisk together, and then let the mixture sit for five minutes until yeasty and it until yeast is foamy. Okay, so I'm just going to slightly adapt it in the respect that I'm just going to put all the water in at the same time. So one and a quarter cups of warm water. I just buy this in bulk and keep it in the freezer and then um, I keep this one in the fridge. You can keep it in the freezer as well if you want to. But my yeast lasts for a long time in the fridge like this. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure that all the yeast is touching the water. Foaming nicely, so Sift together the flour and the salt, add remaining using the dough hook. Okay, so what did it say? Three and a half cups of plain flour. Hopefully I've got enough in here. One. Two. teaspoons of salt. I'm going to put this on the dough function. Let that do the work for me. I don't to bother with that. So I'm going to need for two minutes. Now the recipe, you know, obviously says to knead for, for 10 minutes, but 
two minutes in the Thurman mix is equivalent to 10 minutes hand kneading. So that's all done. So we're just going to rest that, pop it, at, um, I don't even need to pop it in a bowl, I'm just going to cover it like that and then pop this in a warm sunny spot or a warm spot and um, we'll come back to it um, to shape them. Okay, so this has been sitting for around about an hour. It's definitely doubled in size. I'll just get a little bit of flour. Right, what does the recipe say? Punch down, let it rest for 10 minutes, divide the dough into um, eight equal pieces. Roll each piece of dough into a smooth ball and then use your fingers. So I'm just going to um, this in half. Being very careful not to cut my mat. These silicone mats are amazing. Okay, so I've got eight there. Now I'm just going to let that sit for 10 minutes. In the meantime, I've got a pot of water um, on the stove. I'm going to set that to boil. Um, and now, Laura's recipe. Um, doesn't state to put any uh, salt in the water but in reading some other recipes you can put some salt in the water if you wish or you can sweeten it by putting a little bit of honey or brown sugar. Um, I'm going to just follow this recipe and not do any of those things today because the sea I'm going to put the everything but the bagel seasoning on all of them and there's salt in that so I don't want to you know mess with that so um, yeah so just let that come to a boil and then um, in the meantime give these 10 minutes and then we'll shape them okay so I've also put the oven on to let's get this 220 Celsius or 430 Fahrenheit uh, so that's going to be all preheated and ready I've got a big um, baking sheet ready with some parchment paper on it and um, so we're just going to get to rolling these balls and then shaping the bagels. Okay, so the way I like to shape is I bring everything, sort of like push it down to the bottom like that and then make a C and you don't actually want to use flour at this stage. It's not too sticky um, and you just sort of roll it around let's see and what you're doing is is um, making that top tighter and, and uh, the bottom all nice I'll just do that with all of them feel that this one's a bit bigger. Once you've been doing this for a little while you, you kind of get the knack of it and you get faster. Now that one's quite small and this one's quite big. I'm going to steal a little bit of dough, put it on the bottom of that one and just shape that bottom a bit better. There we go. Last one.
Now I'm just going to let that rest for another five minutes because I want it to spring back a little bit. It doesn't say that in the recipe, but I'm going to do that. Okay, so I'm going to leave that for five minutes. I've grabbed a little plate and I've given my seasoning a shake. And I'm going to pop some down on this plate. Isn't that beautiful? So that's going, we're going to dip the bagel in that once they come out of the water. You want to get yourself a slotted spoon and that's going to help um, get the bagels in and out. Okay, so getting my thumb. I do it about that so I know the hole does sort of come in we'll give that a go see what happens might be too big don't know until you try you do want to try and have it around about the same size though This is quite fun. Bagels are really expensive to buy. This works out. I can pop the rest of these in the freezer. I love bagels, but unfortunately, my trigeminal neuralgia doesn't like them. They're probably going to have massive holes. I'll do one with a smaller hole and see what happens. But I'm I'm thinking that they're going to sort of squeeze on. So rest these for another five minutes, and then we'll put them in the water. just going to do two at a time. Now some recipes say um, one minute on each side and others say two minutes on each side. Um, Laura says two minutes but apparently the longer you boil it the, the harder or tougher the um, bagel is going to be and that's just going to hurt my face too much so I'm going to do it for one minute each side. Probably fit three. I turned it down just a bit too much, and the simmer is a little slow. Pressing. Oh, they're so beautiful. This is the one that I did the tiny hole in. So I guess if you want to put toppings on and not fall off, then that's the better one to do um, but I, I like the bigger the bigger ones there we go now there's the one that it's hardly got a hole at all so I guess if you wanted more fillings you would use this that's what the bottom looks like and then here's, here's the other ones that I stretched. So I quite like this size. See, some of the seasoning 
it's going to come off. Right, hmm, just out of the oven. We'll use this one up first. Very soft, very moist, nice. I'm going to be able to eat these. soft and moist. There's the bomb and I've got some cream cheese. So the tool of 13th so I will have to make some carrot cake. Try some with the cream cheese. Can't go wrong with cream cheese. Right. I'll try the top. This seasoning is gorgeous, it's lovely. Definitely wouldn't salt the water because it's it is a little on the salty side and I love salty food. But that is so delicious and so yum. But I'm really impressed with these um bagels. Wow, beautiful recipe, Laura. Um, so I'm going to enjoy the rest of that bagel. I've got seven others that I'm going to pop into the freezer. And um, I'm definitely going to make some more of these. And I'm going to do some other toppings and just have some plain ones as well. And have them in the freezer ready for whenever I want bagels. So thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed watch me make um, bagels for the first time and use the seasoning and if you um, give it a go yourself let me know um, and um, yeah let me know in the comments if you have tried it so have a good day bye